We're here back at ISE with ISE TV, brought, brought to you by the Super Yacht Technology Network. And we're going to do a booth tour here of Crestron's incredible, is it a booth or a small village? I'm not quite sure. And we're going to meet the man, the one and only, Daniel Kirkov, the legend, uh, representing Crestron to the Super Yacht industry. He's going to tell us about innovations, new products. He's going to take us around the Crestron stand at ISE. And you'll be able to see the Crestron room at the Super Yacht Technology Show in six weeks at the World Trade Center, March 20th and 21st. I'm going to hand over to you, Daniel. Tell us about what Crestron are doing this year here at ISE and maybe what you've got planned for the Super Yacht Technology Show. I'm going to do a sneak preview, Jack. We can't tell everything yet, of course, because people will need to come and see us there for a start. I like that. <laughs> but thanks, of course, again, for coming over to the Crestron booth. And as you know, Crestron is a is very committed to keep on delivering the latest and greatest technology for the super yachting industry. We have been doing so over the last years, but we'll continue to do that, of course. As you also know, over the last years, right, we have issues with supply chain and stuff. We're very happy that it's now all behind us, so finally we can also focus again on building new products and building new technology. So we're showing a couple of pieces here, and obviously we'll show a couple of those pieces as well at the show in six weeks also here in Barcelona. Fantastic. So what's behind us right here then? So the thing that we're celebrating here is actually the fact that we have now got one million NVX boxes in the field. So well, we started NVX as a product a couple of years ago and we started to keep on developing it and improving it. But right now we celebrate that we've got one million of those boxes in the field today. Obviously behind the scenes we're working on new variations of the NVX box as well. At the moment we're not releasing anything yet, so the main celebration here is one million boxes and counting going forward. Fantastic. Well, as we all know, there's been global supply issues affecting every industry. Very pleased to hear that those are over. So what we're going to do now is go and look at another area of this small town that Crestron has created here at ISE. And uh, we'll follow you, Daniel. Come on. Back here on the Crestron booth, continuing our tour with Daniel. And uh, explain to us what is behind here. You just tried, but I, uh, <laughs> I, I, I lost you slightly there. No, no, please say NEX something. NEX something, indeed. It's NEX Edge devices, as we call them. These devices are developed to sit on the edge of the platform, of the network. NAX is our audio over IP solution, right? So okay. we use this technology to make sure that every source, every audio source is always available in every cabin, in every deck, in every location on the vessel. And with these devices, we make it even easier to get new sources onto the network, right? So everything that is connected to an NVX is automatically also a source in NAX. That was already the case. Now with these devices, we give you a get more options and the capability to very easily get decentralized sources onto the network. And with sources that we need, for instance, a laptop with USB-C, for instance, uh, the DJA booth that you want to be able to connect on the off deck for your nice Friday evening party where you invite your friends, right? So these uh, devices, they usually have XLR connections. So what we built is a very simple plate, XLR in, AES67 out, and that's it. Everything behind the plate is purely network-based. Okay, so sources or anything that's connected, that would be speakers, anything like that as well? And so the speaker is a destination, right? It's not the source. Interesting. So the source is the point where the audio actually, the music actually starts, right? Where it comes okay. out of, right? Okay, so and this will, yeah. From there, indeed, uh, so any source can now be easily going onto the network. The amplifiers are also connected to that network, and from the amplifier we go to the speakers, and that way, like I said, we have full flexibility and scalability. So you can easily expand your system later on, you can add sources later on, you can add destinations later on. You can even now very easily, for instance, also add a wireless speaker as a destination on the platform. A destination. And by the way, I noticed uh, Jude over here, who is also somebody that we work with, that we'll see at the Super Yacht Technology Show. And uh, what, what, is this an official partnership you have with them? Absolutely. Or? Yeah, so 
Philip, Agude, they're very good at making sure that their products fully integrate with our control processors. So actually for our integrators, it works as if it is a native restaurant product. They don't need to do any development themselves to fully control every single output of the Gouda PDUs. Fantastic. And this is going to feed well into a, a well-established partnership that you have with Savage Lighting. Yes. And again, your systems control Savage Lighting. We have circadian rhythms. And at the show, uh, in six weeks, you've got technology show, we're going to have a light tunnel. Yes. Controlled by Creston. We're not going to ruin the supply, so that's all we're going to say about it. But uh, come and check it out at the World Trade Center, March 20th and 21st. And uh, we'll see you there.